I've been having a bad morning, but now I'm really excited about this. This is awesome. This is great. My name is Mondaire Jones, and I am running for the Democratic nomination in New York's 17th Congressional District. I am not running for Congress to be the first openly gay black member of Congress, but the historic nature of my candidacy is not lost on me. If I had grown up being able to see someone like myself in office, let alone in the halls of Congress, it would have made my coming out process so much easier for me. I would have been able to see in real time that it actually does get better for people like myself who are frankly not given the same opportunities, who are discriminated against. I was raised by a young single mom who, like so many women all throughout this country, worked multiple jobs just to be able to provide for our family. Even as we relied on Section 8 housing and food stamps, my mom got help from my grandparents. My grandfather was a janitor, and my grandmother cleaned homes. And when daycare was too expensive, she took me with her. So now I'm running to represent the same people whose homes I watched my grandmother clean growing up. I think that for the average American, it can be difficult with everything going on in their personal lives to pay attention to races like this. In my case, we've got three guys named David running in a crowded field for the Democratic nomination. But I am the only progressive running in this race. I am the only person talking about big structural solutions for the tremendous unprecedented problems that we have. Whether that is the climate catastrophe that's imminent or the student debt crisis. I think in a district as safely blue as the one in which I grew up in and that I'm running to represent, that we can afford to challenge ourselves to do better, even as we challenge Republicans. You know, I think it can become easy to, uh, to make the conclusion that we no longer live in a society where uh, discrimination against members of the LGBTQ community including people running for office exists, but the fact is I know from my own experience, even in this campaign, that uh, some people are still harboring those kinds of feelings. There was someone in my district, for example, who offered me his endorsement and then withdrew his endorsement before we were able to publish that. And the basis that he gave was that he didn't know I was running as an openly gay candidate. And so for me, that just energized me even more to be my authentic self because uh, we need people who are willing to stand up uh, and, and count themselves as a member uh, of my community and, and to be able to do so proudly. I started coming out to people when I was in my mid-twenties. That process was aided mightily by representation that did not exist when I was growing up. It was watching uh, TV shows like Noah's Ark, where for the first time I saw black men who were gay uh, in, in loving relationships, something I had never imagined or seen before. It was people like Frank Ocean acknowledging in a heartfelt letter that uh, so many of the songs on Channel Orange were addressed to another man. These were the things that uh, I think show in real time that representation really does matter. If I had had that kind of representation growing up, uh, I would have come out much sooner. I would have accepted my feelings much sooner. I would have been more confident in who I was. Mm -hmm.